Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansky. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. We want to give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I will see them. And today we got a hell of a show for you guys. But before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to follow us on Instagram, the name of the channel is Dreamers Pro. You want to follow me on Instagram. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z. And if you want today's full show before it comes out on YouTube, it's streaming for free. On the Dreamer Show podcast, we have him below. Let me get into this topic uh, here. As you guys know, um, yesterday we were remembering the untimely passing of the late, great Kobe Bryant. We even posted this on the channel. We posted it throughout our social media um, outlets. I shared it on the community section, shared it on Instagram, shared it on our Instagram story, shared it on my personal Instagram. And I remember as I was sharing it, I put like top three, Kobe Bryant top three, one of the baddest MFers to ever <laughs> to ever play in any sport. Uh and with that, of course, some people immediately took it upon themselves. Is he top three? Some people top three. Is he this? But there were other people out there saying he top two, one B, all of that, right? Uh various people had to say various things. They spoke about him yesterday on ESPN. I heard Malika Andrews. I heard Stephen A. Smith did like a little piece together. I didn't even I just wasn't interested hearing those people talk about uh Kobe Bryant, if I'm being totally honest with you. So I didn't even listen to it. I didn't care to hear what Stephen A. Smith and Malika Andrews had to say about Kobe. Like, I just didn't want to hear it. Um, uh, other people did as well. Other people talked about it. Gilbert Arenas talked about it. Uh, Kenny and Martin talked about it on Gil's Arena. And so many other platforms. So what happened? Uh, this morning, I was going through the internet, and I came across a post uh, from Allen Iverson. Now, as you guys know, Allen Iverson, top 75 player, a player that faced Kobe Bryant in the NBA Finals when he was playing with Shaq. One of the toughest players to ever play basketball. One of the greatest scorers of all time, especially at his size and position. And AI put up a post, and I want to show it to you guys on his um, Instagram. It says, you can't make this up. Kobe's 25-day stretch in 2007, right? So at first, I wasn't clear on what he was referring to because the graphic didn't really make much sense to me. And then I started to hunt it down and really search out the information that Allen Iverson was talking about. And when I found it out, I was absolutely astonished at the stat line that Kobe Bryant put up over a 25, 25 day stretch uh, back in 2007. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Aura. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who's the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened. In addition, Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at Aura.com slash Dreamers Pro. And when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below. Also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So I want to show you what AI uh, put up. So let's look at this. Look at, look at the graphic. In the 25, in that day, in that period, you see Kobe scored 34, 39, 43. <laughs> oh my God. 46, 48, 50, 50, 50, 50, 53, 60, and 65 points. Now, of course, uh, Kobe Bryant detractors are going to say, well, what about his percentages? What did he shoot? Because I'm sure he must have shot 32% a game because he's not efficient. Well, uh, as it turns out over that stretch, Kobe Bryant shot 48% from the field, 38% from three, 88% from the free throw line. So basically, Kobe was shooting you know, um, around 50, 40, 90, basically, virtually, 
Close to it. That's what he shot. Anything else? Folks, uh, Kobe could score the ball. He could score the ball better than your favorite player. Whoever your favorite player is, he can score the he can score the ball better than that dude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that like I don't know how else to break it to you, dudes. I don't know if you guys think that when these NBA players be talking about Kobe and they be in awe of him, I don't know if you dudes be thinking like it's like maybe they they're not getting something or maybe they're on something or maybe like I don't know what you think. You the what a lot of you guys don't realize is that you're the ones that are boo boo the fools here. Like the joke is on you, dudes. I don't know what you think is like up with these. Like, what are they seeing? No, the question is, what are you? What what can't? What, what what are you not seeing? Like, who doesn't know this? Now, yesterday, something interesting happened. Yesterday, Luka Doncic scored seventy three points, and I think I got the update on my phone or the alert on my phone when he was at sixty five. Uh, towards the third quarter in the third quarter. And I was like, well, I wonder how many game, how many points he's going to finish the game with. And he ended up finishing that game with 73 points. If I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I am not impressed by that. I'm sorry I'm not. Do you know why I'm not impressed by that 73 points? Number one, this era, the more you see these... If, <laughs> The more these guys score points, the more it proves to you that this era is the cupcake era of basketball. If you think that the reason these guys are scoring all of these points is because they're so skilled, then you don't know a damn thing about that. The reason that these guys are scoring all of these points is because they play no defense today. Do you know the score of that game? The score of that game was 148 to 143. That was the score. Let me see if I can pull up something real quick. Do you guys know? Um, let me give you guys some. Let me give you guys some information. Do you know the? Do you know that the game Kobe scored eighty one? Do you know what the final box score was? One hundred and twenty two to one hundred and four. Let me repeat it once more. A hundred and twenty two Lakers, a hundred and four. They scored damn near 150 points in that game. I'm not impressed with it. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just not, I'm not impressed with this. This I'm not, imp I'm not, I'm, I'm just not impressed with it. I'm not impressed with it. Dudes want me to be impressed with it. I'm not impressed with it. They don't play no defense in this era. I'm sorry. It's so, like, I'm just not impressed with it. I'm not. So we put up a poll on our channel this morning. And I asked the following question. I said, do you think Kobe could have scored 100 points if he played today, out of the 4,000 voters, 78% said yes. 22% said no. The 22%, I don't know what they're talking about, these people. But then one guy said no. He doesn't believe that Kobe could score uh, 100 points. And then I asked him, I said, do you believe that he could score 80 points? Do you know what he said? He said no. This is the mind of of a typical Kobe Bryant hater. They can't even reason properly. It's, 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 it's amazing how they're even able to put on their shoes and their pants before they go outside the house. It's really amazing. The guy said he couldn't score 80, but he already scored 80. And when Kobe Bryant went on that stretch in 2007, do you know that the average score per game in the NBA that year was 99 points per game? Do you know the average, what's the average score per game today in the NBA right now? The NBA today, the average score per game is 115.6 points per game. 115 points per game. Almost 17 points more a game today. The teams are scoring. Almost 17 points more a game the teams, uh, teams are scoring today. So I'm not impressed by any of this. I am not. I am sorry. I don't think this is the most skilled era ever. I'm sorry. Nobody plays defense in this era. So everybody looks like Michael Jordan. How can you have in a weak time, Joel B scores 30, somebody scores 65, another person scores 62, somebody scores 73. Like, how does that look on the NBA right now? There's no, if it's so watered down. It is terrible to watch. This is just my personal view. So to me, you heard it from AI. Yeah, Kobe did that. That was Kobe. Better than all these dudes y'all talking about. 
better than all of these dudes y'all talking about. All of these dudes. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. Catch you on the next show. Peace.